Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to pull off a last minute Halloween costume. So this video is sponsored, not really sponsored, but the only reason I'm doing this video is because my fifth period speech teacher, which is my uncle, yeah, um, he's making us do a how-to type of speech. Those on my channel, um, if you want to know how to create a look like this or something similar to this, then just keep watching. So the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean my face with this Clinique um, Clarifying Lotion. And um, this isn't just for this look, it's for an everyday type of thing that I do. Um, after my showers or after I wash my face, I immediately cleanse my face with this um, liquid clarifying lotion. The next step for this look is going to be putting on foundation. Now, your foundation, you're gonna want typically to be a lighter shade than your color for a comic book type of look. So I have my mom's Maybelline Fit Me foundation in shade 120 and so it's, it doesn't come like in a squeeze bottle thing whatever so i'm just going to put it on a on a cotton pad dab a ranch on it so i'm going to be applying a lot of foundation and it's going to seem like a little bit too much i mean that's what we're going for that's the finishing look we want is to be a shade like really lighter than what we are so this shade is perfect because my mom's really white. Not really white, I mean, she's, she has complexion to her, but um, I mean, I'm pretty dark. So this is really good. You wanna make sure to work it down. I look so white, like a ghost. Once I'm done with that, um, I'm going in with this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Um, I just put this on so that way whenever we put on the eyeliner, um, it'll actually stay and not, um, not come off easily or anything like that. So the next step that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be applying eyeliner and it's gonna be um, a sharp wing. Oh, it's Benefit. I got this at Ulta. So I don't mess up. Let's see, it's not supposed to be for me. Got one, one wing on. So now we're gonna get next. Now that I did my uneven wings, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply um, eyeliner to the bottom lid. So the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be applying black paint to surround and outline my face. You wanna be careful like to pull back all your hairs. You can use um, hairspray to like pull your hair back if you have baby hairs like me. And once you have done that, you can go back and you can thicken your lines if that's what you want. If not, you can keep the structure of the face, but I think it looks better if you thicken the lines. So, so the next step after outlining the face is going to be making structures around the nose and um, just putting details that um, you would see like in a comic a comic book or something. So I'm just gonna put, um, I'm using my eyeliner and I'm just gonna go around my nose and make a line down the middle of my nose. And this line doesn't necessarily have to be straight. 
So after outlining the nose, um, I'm gonna go back in and outline my wing. It's gonna give a look to pop out and to look more like a comic book. You can fill in right here. It, it gives a better look if you fill in the wing. So then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So after that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. So if you want to get a more accurate look, you should outline your eyebrows with the eyeliner. And it's gonna look pretty crazy, but once all the looks in the final touches come together, it'll look really good. If an incident like this happens, make sure you have makeup remover wipes just in case. If you have to um, take something off, make sure to put back on your the foundation. So I'm gonna be um, applying more black paint and I'm just gonna be outlining my neck. My tattoos kind of mess up the, the shoulder blade parts, but it's okay. So after I have done the outline of my neck, I will be moving on to the lips and I just have this red paint. You can use um, red lipstick if you prefer it, but I didn't have any. Red paint works just fine. So after painting the lips, the next step is to outline your lips with eyeliner. If you have paint and you have a smaller brush that's pointed like this, then um, you can do that as well, but eyeliner works just fine too. So after letting the red paint dry, I'm gonna go ahead and put a highlight on my lips. So next I'm gonna be applying just the white paint and I'm gonna be putting polka dots around my face. I'm not gonna do a full face of the dots um, just because I personally don't like the way it looks and I think it looks better with just half a face or um, some part of your forehead with the white dots. And you wanna make sure not to put too much because if you put too much amount of the white paint, it will um, drip. Well, depending on the paint that you have, if you put too much, um, it could drip. You can choose whatever size that you want to um, to apply for your dots. And so I just have this eyeshadow brush and I'm just using the, the back of it, the tip of it to um, put the dots that I want. So after applying um, the white polka dots, you, you could leave it like this if you wanted to, but I want to make it look kind of sad or um, like I'm crying. So I'm just gonna be using some blue paint, this one right here, with um, just a regular thin paintbrush. And you don't necessarily have to be worried about the shape if this is what you're planning on doing. Um, you just kind of make it look like you it would if you were crying. 
not really because I mean you don't cry blue you cry um So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and I'm gonna put some mascara on. Um, if you personally use eyelashes, um, you can do that. Those work really well with this look. It really gives it a pop, but I don't really like wearing eyelashes, fake eyelashes, so I'm just gonna be putting on mascara. And I just like to curl my eyelashes. And I'm just using Maybelline Snap Scara. Anything works. And then I'll be putting some on my bottom eyelashes. And before, like letting down your hair or anything, just make sure you let your dots dry. And so like the white's kind of faded. I think I'm gonna try and go in. Since I went along with the crying face, you need to make sure to add just like a little, a little thing thing so it looks like you're really crying. This is the finished look and for those of you that are just watching, if you like it, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe, leave comments, and let me know what you think. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Ferris. Am I crying? Or am I happy? Am I sad? Or am I mad? Sad? Oh, and I'm wearing a shirt. It's a tube top, I promise. I wouldn't just be out here, you know, just chilling everywhere. This was very fun making, and I'm glad my uncle made all of us in speech class do a how-to speech. Said nobody ever. I don't know, but just watch. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Ooh, I don't like that. Whatever. Get the 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 the